Hello combatants and welcome to Mortal Kombat once again. Today we will be going over the tutorial mode. I will read it all to you. Introduction. Welcome to the tutorial mode. Within you will learn the ways of Mortal Kombat. Every journey begins with a single step. Let's begin your training by learning basic movement. Step forward, step backward, duck, jump. Dash forward, dash backwards. That's tutorial one done. Use what you have learned to avoid missiles for 15 seconds. Whoa. Whoops. Each combatant has a unique selection of basic attacks in their arsenal. These attacks can be performed with four primary attack buttons. The primary attack buttons are de uh, designated as follows. Front punch, back punch, front kick, and back kick. The button name describes the type of each attack while well, and attacking the limb. The fifth primary button is the block button, which is R2, or RT if you're on Xbox. This button can be held to protect yourself from incoming attacks. Standing block will stop high attacks. Ducking block will stop low attacks. Now let's learn how to nah, perform some of Johnny Cage's basic attacks. Start off, front punch. Back punch, front kick, back kick, standing block, ducking block. The additional no button. The additional attacks can be performed by pressing a direction and an attack button at the same time. Try these out against Sector. Uppercut, my favorite actually. Sweep, pop up. As you can see, some attacks will launch the opponent into the air, leaving them vulnerable to follow-up attacks. Uh, try hitting uh, your opponent while he is in the air, known as a juggling combo. Basic attacks can be strung together to perform combos. Combos cannot be blocked after the first. After the first hit lands, try performing the following combo. With, as with basic attacks, combos can also be modified, pressing a direction and a button at a certain point in the combo. Can yield, the, uh, a, di can yield a different result? Try this combo. Square, square, forward, square. Square, square, forward, square. Let's see what you've learned so far. Try to land these basic combos on a moving target. My favorite combo. Each fighter also possesses a unique throw attack. Their throws are powerful attacks that cannot be blocked. Oh, whoops. I did the, the towards throw. A well-timed button press will allow you to escape a throw. Press square or X immediately upon being grabbed to break free. Some characters, like Sonya, also have an air throw. This is a, these function as a normal throw, but they only work when both fighters are in the air. Yeah. Now, now that you have learned basics, let's see how you perform in a real fight. Remember your training and defeat Sector. Ah. 
Great job. Each fighter has a unique has a set of advanced techniques based on their background and training. These abilities are called special moves. Special moves are more powerful than basic attacks and have their own special properties. Mastering the use of your special moves is the key to becoming a master combatant. Let's try a few of Johnny Cage's. Some special moves require expert timing to be effective. For example, Nightwolf can reflect back an opponent's projectile attack if timed correctly. Try to reflect three missiles. Other special moves are nap purely defensive, like reptiles' invisibility. Use the invisibility to hide from the, your opponent and avoid being hit for six seconds. Oh, come on. You serious? Come on. The super meter is also a, a powerful tool that can be used to shift the tide of battle by unleashing devastating attacks or providing a means to escape punishment. The meter is split into three sections that fill during the course of a match. Performing a special move, having, a block, having an attack blocked, or taking damage all award some amount of meter. Still got time, good. When at least one section of the meter is full, you are able to spend it on a special ability. Perform Nightwolf's bow and arrow special move to build some meter. With one section of the meter filled, you are able to, to enhance any of your special moves to augment their properties. This is done by performing the special and move input and then pressing R2 at the same time. Now that you have some super meter, try out the enhanced version of Nightwolf's bow and arrow and attack. Whoops. Per practice makes perfect. In the uh, heat of battle, it will be important to uh, be able to pull off enhanced specials, and it will land a few of Johnny Cage's enhanced special moves on an active opponent. Love that one. Oh, here's where the breakers come in. When the X-ray is, is complete, when the super meter is completely full, you have X-ray, you have X-ray access to a fighter. And the X-ray is the most powerful attack in Mortal Kombat, and significantly, significantly can change the course of a fight. But remember, it may not be the best strategy to save up for an X-ray. A true master knows when to use each super meter ability at its fullest potential. Oh, guys. Here we go. In a tag team match, you can swap out positions. Press L1 to swap out.
So tag assist is down back L1, and tag in is back eh, L1 itself, and tag attack is down forward L1. Come on, do a combo or something. There we go. And there you go, guys. There's the training of Mortal Kombat. If you guys want to see any more, or if you just plain want to see, like what the tutorial looks like, and if you're not an advanced player in Mortal Kombat, go right to the tutorial, or come right to this video, and it all will all be explained. Anyway guys, I'm Samson from Samson Games, and I'm saying I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more videos every day. See you later guys!